It's Tony the technician here. Uh, just gonna go over some of the things that I have uh, around my garage that I use and some of the things that I recently just got. So I've had this Black & Decker uh, set for a while. It's a smart technology. Uh, it also came with a circular saw in that bag down there. Uh, I don't use it that much. I used it to build the box for the back of my Camaro. But I mean, it's not the best, but I've had no problems with this thing and I've used the crap out of it. But it's pretty cool. You can use it as a battery uh, charger for like your phone or anything. It's got a USB port on it and this power button right here. Uh, it also has an app that you get on your phone and you can lock the batteries so your kids can't play with the drill or anything. It'll tell you battery percentage. Uh, if you lose your drill, you can locate it, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and then I got this little DeWalt bit set. I'm going to be ordering a lot more. I really like DeWalt. Uh, some people say their quality has gone down since they started making hand tools and everything, but I still really like DeWalt. Uh, it's got a few drill bits in here. Uh, all the screwdriver bits that you need. And then recently, within the last couple days, I got these impacts. So you got this quarter inch drive one. It's the brushless 20 volt max. Uh, I just got the standalone tool without the batteries or anything because I actually ordered this. My wife got it for me for Christmas. Uh, it's the half inch 20 volt max impact and it came with two batteries so I have one for each or you know whichever came with the charger two batteries the impact and then I bought this one separately uh, what's really nice is both of these are both variable speeds so it's not straight on or straight off um, they both have light delays for 15 seconds they'll stay on uh, what's nice about this one is it actually has three different speeds if you can see that one is for just screwing the two is low impact and three is high impact I think they're both on high 100, 150 foot pounds um, torque so I really like them haven't really got to use them yet but I really really like DeWalt so you'll probably see me working with a lot of DeWalt tools just picked up a cheap uh, hammer drill from Harbor Freight just because I needed one, but I don't need an expensive one. Then I also got this bit set over here. It's pretty nice. It's got a crap ton of bits in it. Um, then I also picked this up from Harbor Freight. Just uh, a through socket set, which I really like. Uh, all of these are the adapter sockets for it. Then it also comes with this piece right here so you can slide it in and you can put like these type of bits in it or if you don't have the socket size that you need here then it has an adapter for 3 8 um, then I got a 3 8 breaker bar here um, and then this I brought home from school it's my half inch torque wrench it goes from 50 to 250 foot pounds or newton meters <clears throat> it's matco it's a really nice torque wrench so i'll be using that for the reassemble of that engine and then another dewalt thing i got was this 192 piece set tool kit or socket set has all your torques and everything up here, deep wells, uh, all different sizes from half, three-eighths, and quarter. Um, you got more deep welds down here, your three spark plug sockets, lots of extensions, different sizes and everything. Uh, from three-eighths to quarter-inch, quarter-inch to three-eighths, you got your Allen heads here. Uh, but I really, really like this set. I think it was like 150 bucks. I got it on eBay. Nice case. 
everything locks in place so nothing falls out. Um, what else? And the thing I like about DeWalt, their tool, lifetime warranty as well. Uh, no hassle. If you lose anything, break anything, anything whatsoever, you can call. They don't ask questions. They just send you whatever you lost or broke. Um, then I also ordered these because when I bought my Camaro, they put the front lip on, but they use self-tapping screws. So I'm going to replace those with these uh, because I'm actually going to be wrapping the car in this color right here. So it should look pretty good, a lot better than just some self-tapping screws sticking out the side of my car. Then I also ordered this. This is my brake bleeder or vacuum kit. It comes with different size hoses, two of each. They're stacked behind each other. Uh, two three inches, I believe these are 24 inch tubes. All the different adapters that you would need for uh, checking vacuum or uh, bleeding brakes. Then here's the actual gun. So what you would do is you would hook a three inch hose up to this, put this cup with this adapter on it, and then run the longer line to your uh, brakes. And then you would just pump it to bleed them. Pretty nice little thing, saves you a lot of time. So that's it for that. Uh, that's basically it for now. I've already showed you guys all of my parts that I've ordered in a previous video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. So I just got done showing you a few of the tools that I have in my garage. And me and my wife actually just got back from Christmas shopping. So even though it's not Christmas, we decided to just give each other our presents. So she picked me up a couple sets of flex head gear wrenches from Gear Wrench, which is pretty awesome because they we were at Sears and it was just a great deal going on right now so I ended up getting both metric and standard of that and then I ended up getting this little styrofoam rail system for my toolbox uh, so it doesn't take up so much room so that's pretty cool this was only like 10 bucks so and then I had to pick up some more razor blades uh, these are just straight razor blades these are for my actual knife uh, these will come in handy when I'm scraping the gaskets and stuff off my engine uh, and then she also picked me up a just a little uh, shop vac for the garage. I don't need anything big, so it's a wet and dry uh, shop vac. And then I also got this little kit. It's a bunch of adapters for the vacuum, which will come in really handy when I start porting the heads and everything so I can keep all that shit out of there. But uh, just figured I wanted to throw this in uh and show you guys what else i got today uh let me open this up and show it to you guys all right guys so here it is uh just a little 2.5 gallon uh it's got a reusable filter on it right now it also comes with the filter for when you're using the wet back portion it comes with a wall mount so you can actually hang this on the wall uh the hose two attachments it's got this little brush and then, one sec. And then just this attachment right here. But that's also why I got this. But that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Just a few more things before I end the video and post it. Uh, I did go out and pick up a harmonic balance puller. Uh, it was just a cheap one from Harbor Freight. $17 uh, comes with different uh, sizes and lengths of bolts uh, in order to remove your harmonic balance balancer my bad uh, then I also picked up a set of the rotary bits or burr set uh, in order to port my intake manifold and heads uh, I also got this free set of cheap screwdrivers, and then I also just got in the mail my spring compressor, 
which I'll be using in order to remove the springs out of my heads when I get my new cam kit. Uh, it's not OTC, but it's basically the exact same thing, but for not a stupid price. <laughs> but you guys will see me using this later on when I start the teardown. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys next time.